If you would like to fade in or fade out your entire song in Logic Pro for iPad, there's a few steps involved that's a little more complex than something like GarageBand. But if you follow these steps, you'll get it done in no time. Here's what you need to do. Tap on the three dots here in the top left and hit the Show Output Track. Now scroll to the bottom and here is your stereo out track. What we need to do is use automation to automate a fade in or fade out for your song. To enable automation, tap on the automation button up the top here and you'll see here that we now have automation enabled. Now, this will probably be off by default, so all you need to do is tap on this button here and turn it into touch mode. Now, to add your automation points, simply come up to the pencil icon and then tap where you'd like this to happen. So for this one, we want it to fade in. So here's where the start of our track is. We'll tap once there and then what we can do is go to our move button by tapping on on this one and drag this one down. Now, if we want it to fade in from a certain point, we just grab this and drag to the right like this. And you can see there that it creates a nice ramp up into the start of our song. Let's jump in and see what this sounds like. A beautiful fade in. To fade out your track, you use the same method. Let's scroll to the back of our project here. Once again, we need to turn on the pencil icon here to add in a new point. Now we want to set up the point where we'd like it to fade out. We're gonna tap here, and then we're gonna tap at the end of the project. Now turn off your pencil so that you don't add any points you don't need, and then grab this one and drag it down. And now when we play the end of this project, you'll hear it fade out nicely at the end. Now you'll notice I didn't get that quite right, but no problem. All we need to do is grab this endpoint, drag it to the point we want, and we're good to go. We can even start the fade earlier by grabbing this point and making it earlier in our project. And if you want to get experimental, you can even use the curve option here and then tap and drag in between two points and create some steep or shallow fade curves to make an even more interesting fade in or fade out sound. There you go, a simple way to fade in and fade out your entire song in Logic Pro for iPad. If you'd like to learn more about this amazing bit of software, check out the video there and there all the links down in the description and I'll see you next time.